Well, I think that there are several things that have improved uh, in the diagnosis. One is the addition of biomarkers that before were not present. And second, the clarification and the idea of trying to search for prodromal uh, Parkinsonisms, that is, those features that precede the development of the real uh, disease that we study. So we're trying to um, diagnose them earlier because there is a possibility of uh, patients to enter into therapeutic trials, and there are many experimental therapeutic trials. So I think it is very worthwhile for them as well as for us as researchers uh, to include everybody as, as much as possible. Examples could be, for example, that uh, very early features in progressive supranuclear palsy, for example, are included, such as just postural instability before everything else is developed, or the oculomotor problems, uh, or in multiple system atrophy, the combination of minimal features of orthostatic hypotension, as well as minimal features of Parkinsonism or cerebellar features. So I think that the fact that we are trying to really concentrate on those who have minimal features, but that we strongly believe they're going to be moving into having the disease. On the other hand, all these new criteria need to be validated in order to make sure that what we're thinking that will happen, it really happens, and we can diagnose earlier. So there are many options like uh, neuroimaging to add. Um, there will be other things such as spinal fluid and looking at um, the oligonucleotides that are there, that is like the minimal proteins that are abnormal and deposit in the spinal fluid that we could look at. Um, I think that that would make a major, major difference in uh, diagnostic uh, criteria. We do understand much more how these diseases um, are trigger and what are the risk factors. So I think that we know more how they spread. So there's many more possibilities of trying to address uh, and try to see if we can slow them, uh, slow the progression. So I think those are major, major features. For example, we know now that um, these abnormal proteins go from one cell to another, spreading the disease. So antibodies against those abnormal proteins, scavenging them, uh, would decrease the possibility of spreading the disease. A little bit as in COVID, uh, that we're trying as well to de decrease uh, in this in that case is of the virus, but here is of the abnormal proteins.